Hi, you don't know me. I'm Stranger Dave. And we're looking at fifth instar polyphemus caterpillars, mostly that have very recently molted. And you can see that their heads just look huge when you get a look at their head. Uh, they will grow into that head, and they are going to be really massive caterpillars. And I can't stress just how quickly these guys are growing. It is just incredible. I'll hold a penny down there so you can see. I mean, there, <laughs> there was a time when the penny dwarfed them, and now they are dwarfing the penny. But uh, they are getting very big very fast. And this is the fifth and final instar. They will do a lot of eating and a lot of growing from this point forward. And then they will start spinning. And I will also make a uh, video of a caterpillar spinning its cocoon. And they are a silk moth. So they make a big kind of an egg-shaped cocoon that's very tough and protective. So these are my fifth in star. And I'll probably do one more video of the caterpillars just to show you how massive they get. I mean, right now, uh, short of pulling one out and putting it in my hand, I could show you, you know, roughly how big they are. But, um... I mean, they, they are big. And one of the things I wanted to point out, too, is, is, is something really pretty. I don't know if it's showing up well on the video or not, but they have hairs. And at the base of the hairs, they have something called scoli. And on these particular caterpillars, the scoli are silver. And in the right light, it just looks... It looks like somebody took silver and just dabbed it along the side of the caterpillar. It's just so brilliant and shiny, it looks like real metal. Like I say, it's not, it's kind of washed out on the video, but it, it really is amazing. Let me try to get on this one closer. No, that didn't help. But it really is pretty. If you ever have an opportunity to see a... Uh, polyphemus caterpillar up close you may look at uh, and see those uh, those metallic silver skull I think it kind of shows up there and now this guy is is uh, crashing the party but you can kind of see them on that guy in the center there and they really are they look like real metal I don't know how something in nature can look like metal like that it's just to me is amazing Let's see if this guy's feet as he walks by. It's like watching the train go by. Each one of those little pro legs, the tip has a bunch of little hooks. And if he gets on your skin, you cannot pry him loose. You have to wait for him to crawl off. I mean, they're very tough to move. See if I can focus on this guy back here again. Yeah, this really isn't showing up the way I would like. There's our big headed guy. You can see just how massive that head is. I'm trying to actually focus on his head, but there's a little twig or something in the way. They have really big jaws and they can turn oak leaves into caterpillar and nothing flat. I mean, they just chow right through it. Just crunch, crunch, crunch. You may actually be able to hear it on the video. The crunching. And when they release a dropping, it sounds like pebbles hitting the bottom of the container. Because they're as big as a pea, but hard. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like this kind of thing, nature, and I've been doing this whole series on uh, Polyphemus and Promethea caterpillars. I, I hope you find that interesting. And I will be back with uh, 
other videos of caterpillars spinning cocoons. I might do one more video of these caterpillars just to show you how massive they are. If you notice those little reddish marks, reddish ovals on the side, let me see if I can zoom in here. Those are actually the breathing pores, the spiracles. I think I'm saying that correctly. I can't zoom in. Yeah. Focus a little bit. But that's actually how they breathe. Yeah, he's saying hi to the camera there. Oh, there's another guy coming in. Maybe we'll get his. Oh, you can see those metallic skull eye really good too. I hope you're still still there watching the video. But um, yeah, here they are. And uh, anyway, I hope you liked the video. And I will be back with more. Thanks again and goodbye.